I guess it's going to be a 1.0 minus remap this value from. Uh, it's going to go from 0 to 1. I guess. It's not going to go from 0 to 1, it's going to go from max to 1. Otherwise, we return 1.0. So this assumes that this value goes from 0 to 1 total for like a percentage between two values. So if I basically said like, okay, from 0 to 0 0.1, this thing is going to go from 0 to 1, and then from 0 0.1 to 0 0.9, it's going to be 1, and then from 0 0.9 to 1, it's going to go from 1 to 0. So we'll be able to basically go in and out of our sunrise and sunset stuff based on that value. And I don't really know a very good name for it, so... Uh. So that's what we'll do. Alright, so let's just make sure we got everything saved. And then we'll e exit the editor and recompile. Oh, we didn't make it a static function. That's a problem. We'll have to compile again when we're finished. Ah oh, man, all the recompiles. Just a simple recompile and we're just gonna be sitting here until we die. Gotta compile all the bullshit. And then we have to compile it again because we screwed up. So we forgot to make it static. We'll get there though. So what we're gonna do is basically we're gonna 
be able to transition between all of our values nicely. We'll have our sunrise and sunset stuff, and we probably won't be running all that transition at runtime, but um, we'll see. If we can, we might. We're really just trying to get the idea set up properly. Nice, let's put the editor back up. Yeah, and I wrote the remap function up in C++ land because we can. Because if I'm using it inside of Blueprints, I might want to use it inside of C++. So let's just go ahead and write it in C++. And if it's simple code, I'd much rather throw it in C++ than in Blueprints. It's just easier for absolutely everything involved, if that's the case. Alright, so we want basically our... Our percent finished here. So I'm going to make a, a variable that's available to the function. That's kind of a local thing, and I'll just set my percent here. Good morning, Caracan. We are working on sunsets and sunrises. Alright, so we're going to get our percent that we are actually in our sunset and our sunrise. So it's going to go from, yeah, so our percent is going to go from 0 to 1. And what we're going to want to do is basically we're going to want our weight. So I'm going to make another one here, which is going to be a weight. And we're going to call our this remap weight function that we just made. And it's going to, we're going to pass in our percent value and the min and max. Okay, so the min is going to be 0.1 and the max is going to be 0.9 and that's going to go from 0 to 1 and then 1 and then from 1 to 0 at the end and that'll be our weight that we are into our sunrise blueprints have taken over uh yeah for the most part blueprints have taken over a lot of the work Uh, there's two reasons for that. One of them is it's easier for me to uh, work in this sort of stuff. And I don't have to compile all the stuff all the time, so that's cool. And also, I need to learn blueprints, so I'm doing more blueprint work in order to increase my own knowledge of blueprints a little bit more. All right, so this weight is going to go from 0 to 1, 1 to 0. And what we're going to want to know is if And let's set our weight real quick here. So let's set weight to that value. Something, okay, so our we're going to set our actual sky color. We're going to need to add our two colors together. And we're going to want to know, we're going to get two colors, right? Like we need our, so 
see, how do we actually set the sun right now? It's celestial glow. It goes away. We're not doing anything with the color, are we? Yeah, we're just leaving it alone. Okay, so this should go from the night color to... We're going to need the night sky color and we're going to need the daytime color. Oh, you got a heart now? Have I got mine yet? Well, according to Twitch, for my settings, for emotes, it's still pending. So, doesn't show up yet. We'll see. We'll see how it went. <laughs> When it goes through, it's still pending. <laughs> we'll see. It's been a couple days. I figure it'll just take a few more days since there were so many affiliates or whatever. Might be today. It might be. I figure they got a ton of emotes in the pipe right now that need need approval. Three days? Yeah. It's been a couple days, so I figure they'll do what they do. Because you never know how their approval process goes. Like, if they have a, a meeting of, like, a couple people that sit down and look over the emotes in, like, a, a, a presentation room, and they're like, okay, yeah, that's fine, that's fine, that's fine. Whoa, okay, that's that's not something we want. And <laughs> you never know exactly how they do it. Because think about it, like, in some cultures, some things would be offensive, and others they wouldn't, so... How would you know? Alright, so, we want... To set the actual sky color, we're going to add, we're going to need a a color local variable here. A linear color, color. So we're going to set this color to, yeah, to zero. Set it to black. And we're going to want a multiply here. And we're going to multiply it by our weight. We're going to want a add. I want to add two colors together. Add color plus color. And then multiply amount. You're saying I can't do that in blueprints? Basic copyright? Yeah, that's true. Probably, who knows. I certainly do not. We can't add two colors together? I mean, come on now. Okay, so we have to do a lerp, basically. Hundred percent of A when alpha is zero. Alright, so we're gonna go from something to sunrise. And we're going to want to basically set color to what we're going to be coming from. So it'll go like this. So let's set the actual sky color to this. So what I wanna know is if the If the time of day is, if the percent is less than 0.5. Alright, so we'll branch here. 
and our condition is going to be float less than it's going to be this guy right here less than 0.5 if it's less than 0.5 then we're going to set color equal to our night sky color Otherwise, we're going to set color equal to our sky color. And that's what we will be going from and to and all that. Alright, so this should linearly interpolate our color properly. All right, we're gonna need our light, I think. So if we go to our skybox and we set our time to, let's see. Yeah, like Seven point four. Seven point four five. No, wrong button. Okay, let's just set this at six point five, and time of day advanced like point one, and let's see what happens. So it gets bright. sun comes up or whatever and then it sun climbs in the sky and all that So it reaches noon, it's almost at noon. The reason that bush is getting shadowed is because there's actually a bush in front of it, which is casting a shadow. So we're going to apply the same thing to the sunset. So this is going to be the sunset minus the time of time of day. for this value. And then we remap all these things. And we're gonna go, yeah, we wanna 
make these things opposite basically so So that's going to go to the sunrise color. No, it's going to be sunset color. All right, so if our time of day does that whole thing. So let's see, it's 16.5. That needs to go sunset minus time of day divided by sun sunrise duration. It's going to be sunset duration. So if it's less, all right, so it should be going here. So why is this value not getting hit? The time of day is 16.5. We're somehow mapping the night sky. Yeah, it should be time of day minus sunset. No, this is supposed to go from... The percentage here is 1.0F minus, I believe. So it's going to be sunset minus time of day, so it's going to start off at 1, and then it needs to go backwards. So it's just 1.0F minus. Alright, that's, that's better. All right, so we go 16.6, or 16.55, yeah, 16.6, 16 16.9, 17, 17.1, 17.3, 17.4, 17.5, that's it, 17.45, 17.46, 17.5. Four nine eighteen. And so if we rewind that to fifteen or sixteen. We've got our sunset kind of going in there.
All right, so one of the things is we don't want to remap these things minimums just quite like this. It's going to be like a 0.3 for these, so entering it should take longer. Getting out of it should be very quick. So Let's see how that looks. Well, maybe it actually needs to exit a little bit smoother than that, too. Kind of sucks entering these values in here. It's not very easy to enter them. Hmm, I guess one thing that's not happening that could happen is we could have shadows from the clouds. I wonder how that would work. How would we get shadows from <laughs> nice savanna grass? Yeah, it's basically the lighting that gets built is all sorts of screwed up. So I can build it, but it's it's all wrong. Yeah, for us to get shadows from the clouds would be interesting, but I don't think we need it. If we wanted shadows from clouds, I would have to render the clouds with a shadow on it. 
basically I'd need to re-render the Sky Sphere and cast shadows using it. I mean, it's possible. It'd be interesting. I mean, it would basically be instead of rendering the, the clouds inside of uh, the sky sphere, we would render the sky sphere and then we'd render the clouds as a separate thing. I'll just write that down. Just going slow today. I'm trying to think about what would look good for lighting. So I need to have the lights actually work properly in the scene, I think. It's basically we want, during the day, we want to turn off the, yeah, we want, okay, sky color, sunlight intensity, let me get that, sun skylight intensity, get that, sunset light intensity, sunrise light intensity. So what we want to do uh, for the sunset, I think, is basically make it so our skylight goes to a very low value. Well, we want to turn on the skylight. Or we want to turn it off. We want the skylight basically to be at like, you know, point 0.1 or something. So we need sunrise and sunset light intensity is what we need. Sunset skylight intensity and duplicate that. Want the sunrise sky light intensity. How bright the skylight is at this stage. How bright the skylight is. Okay, so basically what we're going to want to do is, can we do a lerp here with a float? Alright, we're going to want another value here, which is going to be light. If I can spell light properly.
All right, so the, the light that we're going to be interpolating to and from, um, why don't we just set it here? All right, so the light is going to, in the night, be something larger. Let's see, what is night? We don't have any... We need a night... Um, night skylight intensity. So let's compile that and make sure it's at a reasonable value. Yeah, it's going to be like 3. Alright, the sunset skylight intensity... We want it real low. We want like a 0 0.2. We want it to go from like 0 to 3. And we'll get another 0 0.2 here. Okay, so we've got our night skylight intensity, we've got our sun skylight intensity. So we're going to go towards the sun skylight intensity if we're going towards being in the day, and if we're coming from night, we're going to grab the night skylight intensity. So these will be the sunlight things, so it's going to be... So we'll get our weight and we should be basically setting our sunrise here. This will be our sun sky light intensity. Alright, and then we're gonna grab the skylight. And we're gonna call set intensity and we're gonna set it right there. Alright, so this will take our light and put it in the right thing. We also need our directional light to be set to the correct thing. So we're going to need a directional light. So we're going to have light 2. And this will be our directional light that we do a lerp for. And we are going to basically copy these guys out again. This guy right here is going to be light two. And we have the skylight intensity. We have sunset light intensity. Yeah, so it's going to be sunrise light intensity. And the second light here is going to be this will be our night sky light, star brightness, actual star, moonlight, moonlight is four. I guess maybe we should have that. So go for Moonlight for this, and then the other one will be Sun Sky or Sunlight Intensity. All 
Alright, so are we setting our light intensities anywhere else? Doesn't seem like it. Alright, so let's double check this. Alright, so we got light 2 and then we set it to moonlight and we set it to sunlight intensity on either side of it. And we go from our sunrise color to our color based on our weight. We go from sunrise light intensity to light. The skylight intensity. This is the directional light intensity. We're probably also going to want to have the color. We'll want to set the light color itself on this thing. And this is the skylight. No, we don't want the skylight here. We want the celestial light. Alright, so that should set our light intensities properly. Alright, and then during the day, we're gonna. We should also set our color. So let's go ahead and set our color properly here. So we're gonna want the. We're gonna need another color, we're gonna need color two. Well, it's just gonna go from white to white, I'm pretty sure. So we don't actually need a color two. Um, all right, our celestial light. We need like set color. All right, yeah, set light color. All right, so we'll do alert color, and it's gonna go from. We're gonna want white as our normal thing. Otherwise, we're going to have the light be our sunrise color coming through. And that is going to be our light color. Alright, so sunrise right now should... Should have yellow light come through, and it should be white light after that. So let's see what is our celestial light is. The color is that intensity is 15. Yeah, so it's looking like it should. And then it's noon here. Excellent. So it's going to go to zero.
Uh, we also need to change the color of the sun itself, don't we? So let's see, what is the sun color? So we get the celestial color. All right, so we need the actual celestial color. So we'll duplicate that actual celestial color. That's not going to be public. Alright, so the actual celestial color, let's go ahead and set it. There's just a lot to set here, a lot of stuff to code out because we're making a whole big sky sphere effect crazy town thing. Let's just get all these things set. It's a little bit of copy paste, but that's fine. We're basically just like during all these different times, we're toggling a whole bunch of switches and doing all sorts of crazy stuff. And this is why we're spending so much time with our like look and feel for the game and getting lighting and all this stuff proper. Is like it's really the most important thing that we can do for this game is make it so we can, you know, if, if the lighting works and we can have all these different times of day and all this cool stuff, then like it's gonna we're gonna have a lot of control over what's happening. That's important. And if we don't, you know, we just got like some basic skybox or something and, you know, the, the backgrounds aren't going to be super impressive. Or we're not going to be able to do a whole bunch or, you know, when we do, it's going to be like a big one off, like, oh, I need to make this crazy effect thing. Which maybe not the worst thing in the world, but we can do it. All right, so what we want to do here for this celestial color is... Um, basically, we again want to do a lerp for this color, and we're going to take celestial color and sunrise color. And our weight is going to be in there, like so. And then we'll be able to lerp our actual sun so that it looks like the sun during these times of day. What's good? Please answer truthfully. What? What? Alright, so let's... Yeah, so okay, the sun is super yellow and all that stuff, which is what we want. Are you asking what is goodness? Because I don't know the answer to that. Well, 
Let's take a look. What's our our light? The color is white. The skylight color is white. All right, so we've got our lights and everything else set up for sunrise. We're going to need to set them up for sunset as well. So this, we got our actual sky color and everything else set there. So we're going to want the rest of this stuff. So it looks like. Also, welcome Kento456. Uh, what's good? Oh, we're just getting work done. That's good. Just slowly doing what we need to do in order to put this game together. Alright, so we need to go from light. We're not setting our light here, are we? We need light and light two. We need a linear color. For not sunrise color, but we need sunset color. Alright, so we'll set those celestial colors properly in there. Alright, so we need light and light too. And we computed those here. Like so. Okay, so we need these need to be flipped, I think. For the skylights, and then we need these to be flipped as well. And then during the day, sunlight intensity, during the day we need to set the, the sky color, the intensity of the skylight, and the intensity and colors of the other lights. And I guess the celestial color. Now the celestial color should already be set earlier on. The actual sky color is set to the sky color. Right, we already have that. Alright, so the intensity of the sky light should be uh, sunrise, sunset, sky, sun, skylight intensity. Alright, this celestial light should have this intensity. 
and our light color should be set to white. So during the day, we can actually change our sunset light, sunrise, sky, uh, our sunrise and sunset light intensities, then our sunlight intensities. Our sky color. Let's take a look at what we can do with the, we've got sunlight intensity and sun skylight. Let's see. If we take that to zero, what does everything look like? Like, yeah, like a one probably works fine. Trying to see what works, what doesn't. He's got, you know, a tiny little shadow under him. And this shadow back here is all sorts of screwed up. We already know that. We've got our shadows. 